Hey there friends and welcome back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel and our blog. Today's video is all about our brand new mini release called Heroes. Starting out today I have a 4x4 four four inch stamp set called United We Stand. As you can see here it's going to build a flag so there is the stamp that has the stripes for the flag and then also the insert for the stars. Lots of great greetings like United We Stand, America the Beautiful, Celebrate, and Freedom Isn't Free. There's also a little set of stars there so you can do a fun background or stamp directly onto your die cuts. There's a coordinating die set that goes along with United We Stand, and I have mine here, but I have a little secret for you. So it's going to cut out every image and every little part of our stamp set, but when you get your die set, they are going to be pre-clipped. So no more clipping apart your dies with your little clippers and uh, having the hassle of doing that before you craft. From now on, the Honey Bee Stamps dies are going to come to you pre-clipped. So we're super excited to share that with you. Here I've used those stamps and I've stamped the stripes and the stars just on some white cardstock. You can see there I have the little stripes there and then I stamped the stars in blue. The coordinating die set has lots of fun pieces for you to build your own flag and lots of different ways you can do this. So first of all, I have taken the rectangle and that's included in that die set. And you can see I have stamped the stripes directly onto that white rectangle. I've stamped the portion that has the stars in blue. And I'm just gonna pop that into that little area there where the stars belong with some foam tape. And that just adds a little bit of foam dimension there. Just a fun little pop on the front of your projects. Next, I'm gonna show you a little trick. The stripes, and you can see they're in red in the top right hand corner. Those stripes are included in the die set, and I'm gonna show you an easy way to line those up on your little rectangle piece. So I'm taking the stamp, and I'm stamping the stripes in a light colored ink. And that's going to act as a guide for me to perfectly line up the die cut stripes every time. I'm going to take the stripes and I used liquid adhesive. That way I could kind of move them around before the adhesive dries to get them perfectly lined up there where I have stamped the stripes. Once you lay down your die cut stripes, you're not going to be able to see that ink from underneath. So next I have used the die cut that has the stars. I've die cut that in blue. And when I pop that on or glue that onto that white cardstock, the white is gonna show through from underneath and that's how I get the look of the white stars. So all the color you see here on that white rectangle that's included in the coordinating die set, that's all colored cardstock. So that's just a fun way that you can paper piece and put together your flag. Now for the sentiments in the set, there is America the Beautiful, Freedom Isn't Free, Celebrate, and United We Stand. So a fun patriotic set. Now I have a note card to show you that I have used both the stamps and the coordinating dies. First I stamped the stripes and the star insert there onto some white cardstock. I stamp celebrate and then use the coordinating die to cut that out and that is just popped onto some silver glitter paper. I just love the sparkle there that that adds to that cute little patriotic note card. And then of course don't forget all the ways that you can build your American flag. So I've used the star stamps there, I've popped up my little die cut, and then this one is the one that is completely paper piece with all of the coordinating dies. So fun, and I love all the ways that you can use those coordinating dies with the United We Stand set. Now this next one is a large 6 by 8 inch stamp set called My Hero. So you can see you have the large word hero there, lots of mix and match greetings. You are a true hero, land of the free because of the brave. Thank you for your service. God bless America. Thank you. We have a super, so you can put superhero there's Scrubs, You Are My Hero, or To My Hero, Let Freedom Ring, God Bless America, Not All Heroes Wear Capes, Some Heroes Take Attendance, Perfect for Teachers, 
Some wear dog tags, some wear a badge, some wear scrubs. You have you are a true and hero. There's different badges and shields for our first responders, a stethoscope, a book, and an apple for teachers. And of course, we don't want to leave out the military personnel with the dog tags. And then, of course, lots of hearts and stars that you can add to your creations. There's a coordinating die set with this large stamp set as well, and it's going to cut out every image and every sentiment there in that large stamp set. Like I mentioned before, when you get your die set, it's going to come pre-clipped. So any new die set from Honeybee Stamps is going to be pre-clipped, so it's going to be easy for you to receive that in the mail and then get crafty. We're so excited about that. Okay, so I have used my stamps and the coordinating dies, and I've uh, cut everything and stamped everything, and I want to show you exactly what you're getting here. So you have that large hero word. There's a shadow there shown in red, and there's the large die that cuts out that shadow. And then there's an option for you to cut the letters out of whatever color cardstock you like. So all of the individual letters. And I have shown that they're in white on top of the red shadow. For the next example, I took that shadow in red, and then I have used the stamp from that stamp set, and I've used some sticky embossing ink and some metallic embossing powder, and I have just heat embossed the word hero directly onto that die cut. I love that look. You can also stamp out the word hero that's one large stamp, so that's nice. And then there's the dies, so you can cut around each of those letters. So there at the bottom, I have stamped and done some Copic coloring, and then used the coordinating dies to cut out each letter. So lots of choices and options there when you have the coordinating die set. I want to show you all the cute pieces that are included. So you have the cute little stethoscope, the dog tags, the little apple and the book for all of our teachers. We have different types of shields and badges and things for our first responders, and I've added just a heart there to the top. So you could use that lots of different ways. I had fun on all of these little pieces, just stamping those and doing some simple Copic coloring and then using the coordinating dies to cut those out. And here are some of the other little stars and hearts that come included. They're fun just by themselves or popped up onto some of your little images there. And then last but not least, we have all those tons and tons of mix and match greetings. Thank you for your service. You are a true hero. Not all heroes wear capes. Some wear a badge. Some wear scrubs. Land of the free because of the brave. Let freedom ring. We have a thank you. They're super, so you can make a superhero card. A to my. And then I love the dog tags. We're a military family, so I love that. I love the some take attendance. We don't want to leave out our superhero teachers. Scrubs. You are a true hero. And dog tags. And there's the super for a superhero. Here's a quick card that I put together. You are a true hero. And you can see I used that shadow background there and then stamped and heat embossed right there onto that shadow. I used the stethoscope and then not all heroes wear capes. Some wear scrubs. And there you have it guys. That is a look at the Honeybee Stamps new mini release called Heroes. Available at honeybeestamps.com on June 14th. Make sure you check everything out there. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.